Hey guys, it's Muzzy here and I've got another commentary for you today. The gameplay in the background is some um, Black Ops 2. It's pretty old. It's, uh, I think it's from launch weekend or the weekend after that, but it's about 80 kills, I think, if I remember right. It's about 80 kills on Nuketown. The music in the background is something a bit different to usual. It's more, uh, which I, I, I'm calm, relaxed, I don't know. It's by Byrocratic. The SoundCloud link will be in the description as always. But uh, let's get into today's topic. So today I want to talk about PC versus console in terms of gaming. I grew, I, I've grown up with with console, like with consoles, because my cousins. That's basically what my family had. Like my cousin, the per first console I played was the Nintendo 64. It's because my cousin had it, and I think I was playing Mario 64 on it. And then the first console, if you can call it that, that I got, it was the Game Boy Color. And my sister got a GameCube with uh, Mario Party, so I'll just play Mario Party. I can just remember playing Mario Party just all day with with my sisters. And and then the and then I got a PlayStation 2 from my dad, and I I would just play Jack and Daxter and Ratchet and Clank and uh, lo just loads of games like that. And uh, that that was good. But then when it came to Xbox, I got I, I don't know I just got tired of their Xbox and my a lot of my friends like a lot of my new friends from secondary school they they were playing like PC games and stuff so I thought let me try PC gaming and at that time I had a really bad really really bad laptop so I just I, I built my own computer and what I found about the PC is that there's so much that everyone thinks that it's really expensive but it's not because it, you usually you'll pay around maybe for 300 to 500 pound for a computer and you'll pay about 200 pound for a, a, a console so if you put if you think about it, it's not actually that that much because once you buy a gaming computer you've got a normal computer as well and the I think the advantages just outweighed everything that the console has to offer like apart apart from one thing the only thing I found about about consoles that's better is the it's like the compatibility and the you can just it's better for when you're playing with friends because you can't really sit around you can run a laptop and play play uh, Call of Duty or whatever when you want to play and with the console it's more I think it's better for a casual gamer because you don't need to know anything. You just get the game, put it in the drive, and it works. With a computer, you kind of have to kind of see whether it works or not before you buy it. But that that's also a positive because there's much much more customizability. Like you can change pretty much anything in your computer. Like I can right now, I can take out my graphics card and put a better one in. But that is if I had one. But. Um, or I could put in a bit more RAM, and then and then the games are more customizable as well, unless they're graphic console of course. But yeah, that that that's something different entirely. Um, the, you can just pre pretty much change everything to how you like it. So you can change the FOV, bind almost every single button. You can change graphic settings to how you like it. So if you want to play like a like a pro, turn all your graphics down, get a three thousand FPS. Or you can have like one of the best looking games in the world. And on the PC you just have there's just more buttons. There's more more you can do at once. Like you can you can there's way more buttons just at your fingertips. So you can it's it's much faster. And it it does other things as well. Like your computer isn't just for gaming. It can do pretty much all you want it to do. So you won't. It, it it minimizes the amount of devices you need for your on your uh, wherever you put it. Like I I play I I used to play Xbox on my desk, so it didn't really change much in terms of how I played in terms in terms of where I am. But it it's it's just a massive improvement in terms of graphics capabilities and uh, frames per second and button mapping and almost everything and there are way more there's much more variety of games on, for your PC 
you can if you just spend it uh, like a couple minutes browsing through indie database you'll find it, loads and loads of games that you would have had no idea of if be, there's nothing like them on consoles like I can go to game draw or the IndieDB or ModDB or anything right now and find anything I want and there's mods and stuff which makes everything better so uh, I think that's my running out of time uh, thank you for listening if you have any